One of my favorite places in Minnesota is a small harbor town nestled along the lakeshore of Superior called Grand Marais. I actually lived here for one spring, summer, and fall early in my life. And there's a great cafe right on the harbor called Angry Trout Cafe. And today I'm going to bring you the stolen recipe for their world famous trout chowder. Here is a pack of frozen trout that my kids caught uh, last fall here in Minnesota. I didn't catch a single fish out of there. My, my kids uh, brought all those home for us. And I love midwinter to take these fish out of the freezer for meals. And uh, it's going to be a cold Saturday, so I figured I'm going to take this out, chisel about uh, half a pound or a pound of fish out of there, and uh, make this chowder up. And I thought I'd fire up the camera and show you the recipe. It's a great recipe. So I took out three fish, we'll let them thaw out, and then I'll uh, start the recipe for dinner. These are all caught, by the way, out of uh, pure, cold, spring-fed streams in uh, southeast Minnesota. As always, I'll put the full ingredients list down in the description box, but let's just do an overview of what you're going to need. Vegetable broth, half and half or cream, potatoes, carrots, butter, red onion, uh, garlic, bay leaf, dried dill, celery, flour, white pepper, salt, Italian parsley, and of course, your fish. Now I've got about a pound of fish, but a half a pound will actually work for this recipe, and I've filleted them out. You'll have to remove the scales or skin them, whatever you want to do. A nice mild fish works well with this, trout or uh, walleye, uh, crappies are great with this, but you don't have to do Just a little side either. note of information for you. In the old days, chowders were developed to actually stretch your food out or stretch the money out. And the carcasses of the fish, whatever was left over after filleting them was used. So all the bones and then the meat that was attached to those bones after filleting, they would boil and make a nice fish broth and all the meat would fall off, of course. And that way they would use the whole, the whole animal. Today we're a little spoiled. I'm just using the full fillets. First thing we're going to do is get that vegetable broth on some heat in a stock pot. We're going to add our carrots and our potatoes. We're going to boil that until it's tender. And while that's cooking over here, get two tablespoons of that butter. And add your onion and celery to it. We're going to cook that just so it's soft. Ooh, love that smell, man. Another little tip for you. If you're not having a little wine or beer while you're cooking, if you're not having fun while you're doing it, you're just doing it all wrong. Doing it all wrong. Once my onions and celery have gotten soft, I'm going to add them to the stock pot. Then, I'm going to add my bay leaves and my dill. My potatoes are not quite tender yet, but I'm trying to time this out. So I'm going to give this another five minutes. Let it take in all those herbs. Now we're going to add the trout. Don't worry about cubing it up or anything like that, because the trout will just kind of fall apart in the flakes. I'm going to cook that for about five minutes. Then I'm going to add some white pepper to taste and salt. While the fish is cooking, I'm going to make a roux, put some butter in there, butter, put a couple cloves of garlic, and I'll whisk that flour in. gets to that kind of brown color and you can smell the nuttiness of the flour then you're going to whisk in slowly whisk in your cream and then I'm going to put this into the soup slowly kind of mixing it in 
Once the roux is added, it'll just come back up to boil, and you want to turn off the heat. Let it sit. It's done. Chop up some parsley. We're going to serve this with some rosemary artesian bread. Dinner is served. This is the fish that you guys caught. Ready for blessing? Yeah! Bless us, Lord, and bless this food. Put it to good use through us. And thank you, God. Thank you for the days that we spent catching these fish. And now we get the sustenance that you provide from them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Tell me what you think. Dad rocks. <laughs> yes. Right? Wow, that's good. Mm. 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 We forgot the garnish. We got to eating too quick. This is supposed to go on top. Nice.